Here is my number one best overall tip for your CPA study process. This tip, or really this strategy that you can add into your daily process, this will solve so many problems for you on test day. This will solve time management issues. This will resolve any kind of exam anxiety issues. This will solve retention issues, which is obviously huge by the time you get to test day. And as the days and the weeks go by, by doing this on a daily basis, you will start to have a sense of momentum and progress instead of feeling like every day is an uphill battle and constantly feeling stressed out and overwhelmed and just lost in the study process. So the big tip is to add re-review into your daily process, meaning you spend a portion of your study time each day going back and re-hitting all the topics that you've previously covered. Now that might sound like a lot of work or how would you possibly re-hit all the topics I've covered every day. There's two very simple ways of doing it and I'm gonna briefly explain those in just a second. But if you would like a complete and in-depth overview of how that actually works, and it only needs to be a half hour a day, you don't need to add a half hour, it's how you spend the last half hour of your main study session with your current review course. You would just do this 30 minute exercise to end each study session. So if you would like an in-depth overview of how that works, we have a free training where that will be explained in detail in addition to how the entire study process should work. So exactly what to do when you sit down to study. The main idea being you only need to have these two hour main study sessions with your review course each day instead of trying to find four or five hours a day to study. So you can click on this video at any time to register for that training. Now let's go into the, the two simple ways of doing this. First, let's think about the traditional study approach. So you have a review course, whether it's Becker or Wiley or Roger, whatever it is, and you're just trying to work through the lessons one by one. And so for each lesson, you watch the video lecture, you read the chapter, and then you look through the practice questions and try to solve those, right? So first of all, it takes a lot of time just to watch the video lecture and then read the text. And then what typically happens is you do those two things, then you start looking through the practice questions or the practice sims, and you realize, okay, I must not really get this. So at that point, you either go back and watch the video lecture again, or you try to find what you are looking for in the text. Basically, there's some process of trying to assimilate the information you've just covered so that you actually feel like you have a practical understanding to where you can answer the practice questions. The whole point is this process takes a lot of time and you're going to do this dozens and dozens of times as you move through each lesson. So you're spending all this time and effort up front trying to master each lesson, but you never look back at any of the content you've covered previously until your final review. And so what happens when you get to your final review for most people, and maybe you've experienced this, is that you have this feeling that you have very much forgotten almost all of what you spent all this time studying previously. So that does not make any sense. Now, if the only difference that you made throughout your study plan or your study process was to reserve a portion of all that time you spent and you're constantly going back and rehitting all the lessons you've previously covered as you go, I think you can see how beneficial that would be. So instead of getting to the end of your study plan and thinking you've forgotten everything, you would progressively, as the days and the weeks go by, you would be building on your understanding and retention of all the topics as you go. I think it's obvious how much better you would feel or how much more prepared you would be if you had spent a portion of each day re-reviewing all topics as you go. Now again, you're probably wondering, okay, how do I actually re-review all the topics that I've been through in just a half hour each day? Again, there's a very specific way of doing it that we teach our clients and customers that results in all the success stories you've seen on our website or our podcast. And we will walk you through how to do this for free on these free study trainings. So again, you can just click the video anywhere and register for a time that works for you. And again, we're gonna cover the whole study process. So in one hour, we will walk you through 
how to change your study process, again, using your current review materials. And it will be so much more effective and take you less time than the traditional approach that we just walked through. So again, the two ways of adding re-review into your daily routine, there would be the 30 minutes, so you reserve the last 30 minutes of your main study session, and you do a very specific little exercise that we will teach you on the training. And then the second way is as you go throughout just your regular day using your smartphone. There are specific things you can do from your phone in three to five minutes at a time that are dramatically effective at implementing this idea of re-review. And we'll cover that on the training as well. Because again, we all carry these phones around and even the busiest people, the busiest of the busy, we still find a way to look at these phones for two to three hours a day. When you get that screen time report at the end of the week, you wonder, how did I possibly fit in you know, three hours a day on my phone? And so the idea is you replace some of that time as you go throughout your day by implementing more re-review from your phone. And again, we will explain exactly how to do it in detail on this free training. So to register for one of these trainings, just click on the video or the link below the video, go to the registration page, pick a time that works for you, and then do not miss it. This is literally one hour that will save you months and months of time and frustration and make your daily study process much, much easier. In fact, when you follow the format that you're gonna learn on this training, you will actually have a more effective daily study routine and you will be done by the time you get home from work or by the time you're done with work so that you have your evenings free. That's probably the main thing that our clients like about our approach so much is that even during this hectic process, even if you're working full time, you can be done studying for the day by the time you're done with work so that you have your evenings left to do the things that you like to do that you would normally do so you don't go crazy throughout this process. All the while, your process is working much better than the traditional approach. So register for one of these trainings and I will see you there.